Engineer 775. It's been a while since we put a simple pump in. This is a standard installation of a simple pump hand pump. Um, this customer had already purchased it and it was here on site. Just wanted us to come install it. It's a pretty deep well, 625 feet. So we broke out the tripod. This high tech right there with a come along, boy, it saves the back. And our quick clamp is the lifesaver. An extra set of hands while we get this thing prepped. So the hardest thing about a simple pump in the south, anyway, or wherever you have a top discharge well and not a pitless adapter is putting this cap in place. So procedure is shut off the water, shut off the power, uh, loosen everything up, pull this pump up. In this case, they didn't have a union, so we cut and we'll put a union in for them for future well service. And then we're gonna put the simple pump cap on the system, set it back down, reconnect the water, reconnect the plumbing, and then make sure everything's good inside the house. And then, then you can start to put the hand pump in. And this one has a desulfator on it, so we need to get that in our cap. We'll have to modify if, um, the cap to do that. And then uh, that's it. So stage one is replace the cap with the simple pump cap, which has a hole for the simple pump, a hole for their pump, and a wire port and a disinfection port. We're probably going to use a disinfection port for the um, sulfator, desulfator. Okay. And the tripod and the come along just come in extra handy. So the next step, we disconnected everything, pulled the existing well pump cap off and put on the new well cap from Simple Pump. Abraham's feeding the wires through. And then there are set screws on the side that clamp to the casing and we back them out to make sure that there's clearance and then we're about to set it down. But you see the whole time what's holding the weight of everything is the uh, quick clamp. If you need one of those, we can get you one. They're on our website, quick with a K. That is a handy, this does one to two inches. They make them up to like eight inches. Grab onto any pipe. So we should be good. We can use their wire, wire thingy, strain relief. And um, okay, so we're about to set this down. A lot of times we, the static water level is pretty high and the buoyancy just allows you to just pick that thing up by hand. But this one's probably down 500 feet. So it's a little heavy. We're gonna use the back saver. Okay, cap in place. We uh, always try to add a Schedule 80 Union. We like to add these quarter turn spigots. This only had a 90 on it before. So the pump is hanging on our simple pump cap. Uh, it has an aerator. We cleaned up the aerator screen and made a better attachment to our cap. And we've turned the water back on. So the house is good to go. Now it's time to put the hand pump in. The only mysteries that sometimes we hit run into are torque arresters. Some companies, some well pump installers are notorious for putting them way too often. Technically, I think you only need one. That can be argued um, down near the pump. So if we hit a torque arrestor, it ain't fun. We'll see what we get. But we're about to put the simple pump in. This first part is the piston. It has two check valves in it. And it's a lift pump, about to go down. All wrapped up in less than two hours. This is a very small fake rock. And so um, even though we lowered the pump down quite a bit with all the plumbing and the aerator and the hand pump, we had to raise it up about two inches. So we just kind of built it up. And the main thing on these wells, if you can keep air wind from getting underneath your rock, you're good. And so you're left with a little care package. The handle just pops on with two pins, won't fit under the rock. And uh, that's it. Simple pumps are real easy. If you need help with getting one, just let me know. I can help you spec it out. And all different types of wells. It just not just these top discharges, it's pitless adapter caps and all a bunch of different creative ways to install a simple pump. A lot of times in a cold environment, we use a frost-free hydrant to backfeed the house. It's a simple way to get water back into the house and all the pump heads drain out after you're done using them.